What's going on? Welcome on into today's trade recap, Wednesday, September 13, 2023. It's 11, 11 a.m. Uh, last trade was actually closed out just a little bit ago, um, and it was kind of a eh, dud type of day. Um, not really, when I say that, I mean it was good, but at the same time, we still aren't getting consistency. Um, and in terms of strength or weakness across the majority of stocks, uh, we're kind of not really seeing that. And you'll see it by the two stocks we traded. We had one long and one short. So first things first, we had this Apple put play. I'm going to come in here and I'm going to log this really quick. So we come in here, we lose 102 bucks, which is pretty much you know where I want to be worst case scenario on a loss. I don't really want to be losing more than $100 on a loss. I'm going to go in here and I'm going to go play this or add these setups in. This is a bear flag setup to the downside that we played here on Apple. You can kind of even see it. Big move down, consolidate, break down those lows. That's on the one minute chart. Go to the five minute chart. It's going to be pretty similar. The thing about this play on Apple though is if you were to zoom out, um, and I'm going to go to the S&P. So really click on the S&P, right? S&P still has not made up its mind. It's still just kind of in this coiled up period, which, you know, we had CPI today and maybe we thought we'd get some direction. Not really. But if I go to pull up Apple's chart, you're going to notice something pretty substantial here that's notable compared to SPY. If you were to zoom into this chart on the four hour time frame, you know, it's weak. That's essentially what I'm looking at. So we've got weakness here on the four hour time frame. We've got, you know, relative weakness compared to the S&P. And we've actually got, you know, almost a bear flag setting up to the downside. You can even call that one, if you will, right now. Big move down, bounce, consolidate, and then start to break that structure to the downside. And we're kind of flagging, if you will, or we're in some sort of consolidation inside of a bigger picture downtrend. And so when we start to break that consolidation, I want to play shorts on a stock that's relatively weak, which Apple fit the criteria. It made sense. And it also was breaking down under this blue line below yesterday's lows. That is a level that I watch for momentum. So checked all the boxes and the trade kind of worked, but then it didn't. So if I go back here to Tradezilla, let's go to the trade replay. So go to the top here, trade replay feature. This trade I entered at 9.15, so let's just fast forward to around 9.08 and then start playing this out. So if I go to the five minute chart, here's what'll be a better view of this trade. 30X speed so we can really kind of see it happen fast. And then if I adjust over, so the stock has this big, this low of the day right here. I'm gonna play a break of low of the day in, inside of this bigger picture break of the one hour low or the one hour low of yesterday, right? That's kind of what we're looking at, the one hour level on yesterday. Big move up, consolidating. Now we're breaking to the downside. Flag, the downside is breaking. We want to play weakness. And so here goes Apple. It starts to break down. I get in on that breakdown. And so we get a decent push in our direction. Like the initial move was decent. Uh, we get a push down to our, I believe, 174.05 or something along those lines, close to 174. Uh, the next whole number. And we just couldn't break that level. So then the market comes back and I'm not liking this, I'm not liking this, I'm not liking this. And I'm, I move my stop loss to essentially where a hundred bucks would be. And that's it. Um, realistically, I probably could have lost a little bit less, didn't like it right there, but invalidation point to me was above this, this wick right here around 175. So once we broke back above 175, I'm like, I'm gonna get out of this thing. And that's what exactly what I did. And uh, you know, it worked out, I guess, in in, in the sense of, Apple, as I'm looking at it now, never came back to those lows and actually went up to 176 plus uh, as I speak right now. So, you know, it kind of worked um, to stop out there. It just trade didn't work, right? It, you know, it is what it is. That's just kind of the nature of, of um, trading and, you know, not everything's going to work. But our good, our good trade was on Amazon. So this trade, I'm going to go in here and we're going to talk about this guy. This was a bull flag break to the upside. Now, you can even call this a three bar play. It depends on how you want to look at the the, uh, the charts. They're all kind of an extension of big push, consolidate, break to the upside. Uh, essentially, Amazon was very, very strong on Monday, had this move up to about 143.60, something like that. If you were to zoom out even further, go back in time on Amazon, and that was essentially the exact same high that we had back at the beginning of August. So now we've got a double top high here on Amazon, okay? We've got higher lows, right? Pushing up into that. And then if we were to break that double top high, I think we've got room for a momentum push and a breakout to the upside. So let's see what we have on the shorter term timeframes. This is the one hour. 
if I start to zoom in, we have established our levels. Let's go to the 30 minute chart and see if it's even cleaner. And what you see is that we had this big move on, on uh, Amazon this morning, pushed up to around 143.20. Then it has this wick down and then it starts to get right back up that those buyers come right back in. So if I go to even like a five minute chart, you can even see a better view of this, right? Essentially came down to that VWAP just underneath and broke back through. I want to play a break of high of the day. We are near a high. I want to play this. I think this has the momentum to push through and break it. And so my entry point was actually on the top here of our round high of day break, which was this wick. And we had a nice push up, little consolidation, or at least two candles that kind of, you know, gave us that 10 minutes of breathing time before the break. And then we got the move. If Amazon was to break this, right? Pull back and then just in, you know, two candles right back up and break it. I would be skeptical of that trade, um, but it gave itself 10 minutes of slowing down and then boom, momentum push. That's what I want to see. Cause when we have that consolidation or that slowing down before the, the break, that gives you more confidence in when this break occurs, it's going to be pretty big. And so it was good. This is me playing into pretty much what I did or what I talked about in the last um, trade recap. So we're in it, we were in slight drawdown initially, and then we took profits here at, when we had our, we were up about 105 bucks on the trade. And then the next take profit here came, and then the next one was stop out at a uh, stop out once he came back below the nine EMA. So if I go to the five minute chart, I'm gonna pull up the nine EMA really quick so you can see what I'm talking about. Let's see, there it is. So this is what I use for momentum. We break out, above that. And if we were to fall back below that, it's generally not a good sign. Um, if we start to break out in my direction, we're up a lot and I'm taking profits. Once we break back below the nine EMA, that tells me momentum is dying out and it's time to start thinking about getting out if it makes sense. In this case, my stop loss was pretty much right below these lows, which we had then broken. So now we're no longer making higher lows. Get me out. Could totally go for more, but that's no longer my trade. My trade was this move not trying to hold through all of this and maybe this comes back up. I don't know. Maybe it does. Maybe it doesn't. Right. So that was that. Um, the way this thing kind of saved me though, or, or what I was saying before about the Amazon break and it saved me because we had this 10 minute consolidation period, right? We had a similar look on AMD. Now AMD ended up being one of the strongest stocks of the day and it went, but here's an example of why, you know, you got to get that breathing period and why I like that breathing period. So AMD this blue line is the high from a couple of days ago. So essentially at 106.75, let me get rid of that for a second. That lines up pretty darn close with where we established high of the day here. Now, this could have been viewed and I was thinking about playing this on this break. The problem was, is that AMD in one candle came from essentially 106 all the way up towards nearly one, actually broke 107 in one shot. So this thing, if if it had bounced off VWAP, gotten up here, maybe pulled back and consolidated for a candle or two, then went, boom, we'll take it, but it didn't. So I was looking at this breakout here. I was like, mm, maybe, and I said, no, I'm not going to take it. The grand scheme chart on AMD is not as clean as Amazon or other stocks out there, so I didn't want to take that. This could be good, though, in the coming days. If it gets back up over 110, 111, 112, you know, whatever, okay, 110-ish, then I like this thing to the upside because then it'd be breaking out of this downtrend. But it still technically isn't a downtrend on the bigger picture charts. So didn't like that. Even though technically it like would have like the idea is kind of good. It would have worked, but it wouldn't have stopped. It would have stopped me out. If I had gotten in on this, I would have stopped out shortly after only for it to come back up and eventually break it and go for more. So um, maybe there was a better trade here. I don't know, but I didn't trade it. And that was the deal. So 50% uh, day, not amazing, but when you can win more, then lose, you know, I'll take it. So green, small green, but if that's how it is until we have more clarity in the market, I'm not going to complain. Um, I'm fine with that. I'll take it on to the next. That was today's trade recap, Wednesday, September 13th. I'll leave any links, resources to trade Zella to track all this stuff and anything else that I use in the video description box down below. Peace.